Welcome, everybody, to our third live stream on LifeWave Lifestyles, where we talk about lifestyles that support our amazing experiences with the LifeWave patches. The Today, we'll be talking about part two of Ayurveda. The, we talked about the air person last week. We're going to talk about the fire person this week. Then we have a wonderful person who's going to give us their testimony on what she's experiencing in just, I think, a few weeks of the patches. And then we will talk some life wave science. So we talked about the three main constitutions, and last week we gave examples of the air person. This week we're going to talk about the fire person. I'll speak the Ayurvedic point of view, and then Dr. Conti will bridge the gap and bring East and West together for holistic peace in the world. Something like that. <laughs> um, I have such power. Yeah, yeah this is the power. Real quick to let you know, everything we talk about tonight is... I'm not a doctor. Angie's not a doctor. Dr. Conti's a doctor, but he's not your doctor. This is for education and entertainment purposes only. We're not trying to treat, diagnose, prescribe, cure, heal any condition. We advise you to, to talk to your healthcare practitioner about what we share with you today if you're interested. So with that uh, covered, we'll talk about the second main condition per, constitution in Ayurveda, which is the fire person. And the fire person tends to, as we said, balances when there's enough air, fire, and water. And illness would be too much air, too much fire, or too much water. And in examples of that in, in Ayurveda, too much fire would be heartburn, you know, heat rash, hot temper, anything hot and things that cause heat will make them worse whether they're foods or activities and things that are cooling bring it back into balance that simple so i'm going to hand that over to dr conti and let him explain what may not sound very scientific or medical take it away dr conti <laughs> Uh, the, we refer to the fire person as pitta, means fire or heat. We talked about the vada person or the air person, tends to be tall, lanky, thin, thin frame. The pitta person or the fire constitution person has a, a bone frame that is sort of in between. It's not as thin as the vata or the air person or as thick as we'll be discussing later, the kapha person. It's sort of in the middle. Everything in the pitta person is in the middle of the two. It has a lot to do with, again, I keep bringing this up, but with embryology. The during embryologic development, the mesoderm predominates and a pitted person or constitution or morphologic appearance develops. This is what we would call a mesomorph. The air person is ectomorph because the ectoderm predominated. But if the mesoderm predominates, the person becomes uh, mesomorph. They tend not to be as tall or lanky. They tend to be more medium build, maybe a little more muscular. They tend to have a ruddy complexion. And because of that, they tend or are prone to have red rashes. When you think of fire, fire color of fire is red. So people of fire constitution tend to have reddish skin, 
maybe red hair and and a little more muscle because the mesoderm produces more muscle than the other two germ cell layers. Now, so as I mentioned earlier at another time that one of the aphorisms in Ayurveda is that like increases like. So if you're a fire person, as Swamiji started to mention, you want to take in cooler things. So if you don't, then you tend to increase your constitution, your fire constitution. For instance, if you are a deep pit of person and in the mid-afternoon on midsummer, you go out and play a few hours of tennis and you're perspiring a lot. Then you go in the clubhouse, then maybe have a few drinks. Oh, what else? And then you then you have maybe a, a spicy meal. Well, all these things increase the heat in your body. Be not in hot sun, over ex exercising, drinking than eating uh, any kind of spicy food, all that is going to imbalance a pitta person. So what a pitta person wants to do is to take in more cooling foods, cool drinks. Not we don't like we don't recommend ice cold drinks, uh, ice the drinks, but cooling drinks, cooling foods, cooling foods be. Uh, and if you think of some of the spices, things like coriander, cilantro, these are cooling, cucumber, uh, yogurt, and uh, things like uh, licorice, anise, think these spices are cooling spices. So they're just the opposite. So if you heat here, you want to have something cool here to meet in the middle. So you you have a more of a balance in your constitution. I mentioned the one time uh, a number of years ago, many years ago, went over our friend's house and his uh, wife cooked us an Indian meal. And I, the first time I had, ever had Indian food and for me it was very hot. And I ate with a fork in one hand, I drank water in the other hand, and in the other hand, I had my tissue, blowing my nose and drying my eyes. But I, I liked the food. So one time I went with uh, my wife to a meeting in New York City, and we heard of this restaurant, an Indian restaurant called Nirvana. I don't, I'm not even sure it's still there. Anyway, it was a beautiful restaurant overlooking Central Park. And I the waiter came over and he asked my wife how she would like her meal, uh, medium, mild, medium, or hot. So she said, oh, very mild. Okay. So he asked me, and I said, I want it very hot. He said, no, you don't. I said, yes, I want it hot. So we're <laughs> arguing back and forth. <laughs> See, I think that this that waiter experienced this a number of times before. <laughs> Anyway, he was very, very smart. What he did, and I give him a lot of credit, he brought the sauce on the side in a side dish. So he said, just spoon it on to your taste, you know. I grabbed that dish, I put the whole food. <laughs> and I'm eating it and I'm enjoying it. And all of a sudden my head starts pounding. My stomach so flip-flops. I burst out of perspiration. I was dying. So I called them over. I said, call out the fire department. Anyway, I'm pit of, pit of constitution. <laughs> he said, all right. He probably walked away and called me all kinds of unmeasurable names. He came back and I saw him walking towards me. He had a tall glass of white liquid with ice cubes in it. I said, this must be wonderful. Maybe it's a, uh, a malted or something like that. or you know. So I looked at it and I didn't understand what it was. He said, I asked him, what is this? He said, yogurt and rose water mixed in with water. I said, oh my God, yogurt and rose water. I, I 
it's gonna make me sick. He said, drink it. So I started drinking it. I drank that halfway down the glass. Everything went away. I was cured. Wow. Very cooling. So I put out the fire. So I ate with the glass of cold lassi in one hand and the fork in the other hand. <laughs> so they drink. So it's so it, what it really means is you have to lead a balanced life, including what you eat. What you eat is very important. One of the aphorisms in Ayurveda is <laughs> food is medicine, medicine is food, because foods have certain energies. They could be hot, they could be heating, or they could be cooling. So if you are a pitta person, you want to have more cooling foods. If you are a, a, a vada person, they tend to be cold. You want to have warm foods and drinks and herbs. So, so when you talk, last week we talked about the physiological explanation of why, what's the digestion is for air people. Can you explain physiologically what's happening to the fire person of what you just described? Uh, what happened to you when you were eating that hot food? Yes. Well, what happens is when we eat, we have to have, we have an outpouring of hydrochloric acid. Acid burns, right? But because there's a lot of mucus coating our stomach, normally it doesn't produce ulcerations. So when you take in food, there's an outpouring of acid, especially to break down proteins food with uh, meat you need the acid and then as that acidic food substance called chyme enters into the small bowel then the body has to produce bicarbonate to neutralize it and then if there's any fat if there's anything fried things of that sort there's an outpouring of bile bile acids so that could raise the pH or the acidity of the food. So you're taking in, if you're a pit of person, you normally have a lot of acid in your stomach, right? Normally. So you don't want to add too much more to it. And the, the pepper, things of that sort, the hot pepper, that that is very acidic. Acidity adds to the acid of the of what you're eating. So, and so if you have too much acid, then what does acid do? It burns. Fire burns, acid burns, it's ulcerations. So you have to be very careful. So that's why you want to have something cooling. If you're gonna if a pit of person is gonna have anything that's a, a little on the spicy side, I, I recommend you drink lassi with it. Lassi, because <laughs> that's very cooling. That cool thing. Yeah, you have the name of the waiter that we can uh, contact if we eat too hot food. <laughs> First, I I didn't think much about him, but after a while, I said he he was so smart. <laughs> he did that, the, That's a smart waiter. He yes. was very smart, and I I commend him. Uh, I'm sure other people have done the same thing. <laughs> Probably experienced that before. <laughs> All right. Um, any any last thoughts tying together fire constitutions? Or I think that was a pretty clear uh, um, bridge drawn. I think it makes more sense to the scientific-minded or the Western-minded person. Yeah. See, now they, the person tends to have more muscle. And muscle is what produces energy. Mm, ATP, adenosine triphosphate, breaks down to ADP. It releases energy. So it's important that, and as it in, in, increases energy, it also increases heat in the body. That's what's producing a lot of the internal heat as well. Because of the breakdown of muscles, the actinomycin releases ATP, releases ADP, and energy. That's where energy comes from. So the breakdown of muscle creates heat 
well, you skipped a few steps, but in essence, that's what it does. Yeah. When you exercise. Yeah. Right. I increase the body. Right. Right. This is the, the problem with the air person. They have very, they have less muscle. So they tend to be a little cooler. Like on me, then it could be generating as much heat. So like even with now, Vada Pitta Kapha also deals with our age. When we're young, we're growing, we're strong as the Kapha. We gain, we're gaining weight, gaining strength, getting bigger and bigger. Then in middle life, we're Pitta, we're standing our ground, we're developing, we're developing our career, we're getting through life. As we get later on in life, it's the pit, it's the Vada kind of life we're entering, and as a result, we start losing the subcutaneous tissue, which is which insulates us from the cold. So that's why a lot of older people, like I say, old people, older people, move to Florida because it's warmer, because they can't. They don't have enough insulation any longer. Okay. Well, that's a really great. I, I learned a few things there myself about the medical side of the Western wording of the fire dosha, the muscles. So thank you for that very much. And now we move on to Angie. Angie, um, let me get you. So, okay, you're set up here. So tell us uh, your name, what you do, and how you came to the, the LifeWave Patches, what you came for. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for inviting me, Dr. Conti, to, to be part of this. You're joining us. Um, my name is Angie Cassis. I'm a patient representative for uh, St. Joe's Hospital, alongside with Dr. Conti. Um, I guess I noticed the difference in you, Dr. Conti. You were actually my inspiration when I noticed how well you were moving around. Um, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and please correct me if I'm wrong, I believe I had asked you, you know, about that, about your walking. It just it, it improved, especially after your surgery. And you had mentioned, you know, the patches, <laughs> the X X39 patches. And I took interest right away. You have to understand one thing. I'm a person who has uh, tried many different things throughout my life, from trying to either slim down or get more energy or, you know, I spent a lot on vitamins and like all sorts of different things. Um, I'm sure as many millions of people <laughs> do. Um, so I wanted to give it a try um, because it came from you, Dr. Conti. And I know, you know, you know how I feel about you. I'm very well respected. So I wanted to try it out for myself. And honestly, I have to say, that was the the best thing I ever could have invested in. A life changer. Um, it just made a big difference. You know, just my daily, everyday routine. I saw a big difference with how I do things. Um, people saw a big difference with me as well. And for the first time, they brought it to my attention. You know, it's nice to hear, oh, Angie, you're walking better. Uh, your skin looks so much clearer. You look like you're slimming down. It's always nice to hear that positive feedback. It was <laughs> it was great, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes we, we look in the mirror and we see something, but nobody else kinds of, kind of sees it. So I used to always wonder, wow, is this really working for me or not. But when I started receiving a lot of positive feedback from people, you know, I knew it was working. So the people said, you look younger, you look like you have more energy, you look slimmer, 
everything anybody wants to hear. Yes. Did, were you feeling that yourself or did, because some people don't feel it, on, even though people say it. Did you yeah. feel it for yourself? What'd you feel 100%, for yourself? A hundred percent. And what I loved about all of this was by the second or third day, usually things take forever for me to, to kick in and, and start working. And I know everyone is different. Right. You know, I know someone else who's taking it. Um, it took her a little longer, but she finally got there. I was, I guess, the fortunate one in this case. By the third day, I was not getting up tired anymore. I get up at 5 a.m. for work. I'm usually, you know, dragging and I need that big cup of coffee. And no one's allowed to talk to me until I have my coffee. Just, <laughs> you know, I can honestly say I actually, you know, just. I get up full of energy and more important, I'm feeling good about myself. Like just internally, I, I feel well, you know, which is really important. I go to work. I'm on my feet all day. Cause I do walk around the hospital throughout most of the day. Um, so it's really helped me keep that momentum going and, no complaints on my end. I just feel different, but in a, a very positive way. Nice. So, How about with your family? Do, do, has it been noticed over there too? Has that changed the dynamic in any way? It has. It has. Um, especially when my daughter, who's 16, you know, says, can you take me here and can you do this for me? Or I'm hungry or whatever the situation is. It's okay now. Mm. She doesn't have to hear. I just got home from work. I'm so <laughs> tired. Just give me a few minutes, please. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm doing things for her. You know, I just have a load of energy now, which I'm so happy about. That's that's one. And in just three days, your third day. By the third day, that's all it took. That's and as you thing. say, different people have different experiences. I noticed some subtle things on the first day. The third day, too, though, I did notice more energy just from the X39. But people generally like to know, Angie, what patches you have been taking. I've been taking X39 um, and the energy, the energy one. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a great one. It is. It has made a huge difference. Wonderful. Beautiful. And so, you know, go ahead, Dr. Connie. Do you know what 5 a.m. in the morning is compared to a pig's tail? What's that? What do they have in common? They're both mm -hmm. whirling. They're both whirling. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Dr. Connie will be appearing at Laugh Comedy Club tonight at uh, 9 to 11. <laughs> no Rotten Tomatoes allowed, though. <laughs> I ha have anybody else in your family notice anything? Or do you do you notice your relationship with every other people in the house that changed? Or I have to say everyone um, in my family has complimented me. Awesome. You know. That's awesome like literally every single one of them. Um, a lot of people are interested in what I'm taking. Yeah. And, you know, they say it as a joke. Hey, whatever you're on, we want to try some too. That's the common. That's what people say. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's I very noticeable. What, yeah. It's like the joke in that movie. I'll have what she's having. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I even heard it from my neighbor, you know, wow. she, she wants it now. You, the amazing thing is that you, you just got started. Yeah. I mean, all the, the improvements you're going to notice are going to continue, and especially with all the changes in your body and your appearance. But you're still pretty young, so I'm, you don't have to worry about filling in wrinkles or <laughs> that sort. Of, but uh, that's, that's wonderful that uh, you've experienced this already. But uh, don't forget this. There's a lot of age, not age slowing, but age reversal 
So, and that could also affect your hair, the hair color. Bring the hair color back to normal, to the regular, whatever. That's what's been happening. I thought I bought the wrong color before. Okay. (laughs) No, I actually, I've never had anybody come up to me and say, you look younger. Yeah. I told you you that. I saw you tonight. You did. Yes. This is the first time anyone has made a comment. I mean, since I started using the patches, many people have been saying this to me. I've never had these comments before, before I started the patches. So that was wonderful for me. Yeah. Your skin, your hair, both. Um, And I, and now that I think about it, yeah, your energy too. Um, But the first things I noticed as soon as you came, I go, wow, she looks younger. She looks, you know, so that's, that's really wonderful. I, <laughs> the camera, like, get the, get the headshot. We'll get you, uh, we'll get you some movie uh, studio interviews and, you know. There you go. <laughs> the, I do want to say that this is kind of miraculous. I call that a miracle in three days. Uh, not everybody, as Angie said, gets something in the first few days. I think somebody said roughly 15% of the people find immediate results. Some people, it takes longer. And just because we're not trying to sell miracles here, but as somebody said, when when is it that you got your miracle? Did you get your miracle up front or did you get it later? Mm-hmm. But there's ultimately a miracle. Right. Anything else you want to say before we move on? I just wanted to say that I'm grateful um, for these patches and just made a huge difference in my life and in my lifestyle. Um, I've never actually spoke about any other product. And like I said earlier, I've used everything under the sun for so many different reasons. But I can honestly say um, this this was my miracle, mm. you know, and I, I just want to share my story with everyone, because to me, it truly is a miracle. So and thank you, Dr. Conti, for introducing me, me to this, because, it, you know, I, I'm grateful. I'm grateful you did that. We have a friend in LifeWave, and after she had her miracle, she said, you know, if I don't tell people who need help about this, it'd be criminal of me to not do that. Agreed. And it's like, it made me think that's exactly it. I want to tell whoever I see to know. Like I talked to someone the other day in their 70s, 80s. I said, you probably want to know about this. Would you like to hear about it? And yeah, of course, we have a litany of, of things. So... Thank you so much, Angie. I'm, we're so happy for you, obviously, and we're so happy you had a, a early third day miracle. And we look Thank forward you. to having you back and seeing how it transforms your life even further. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Much appreciated. Absolutely. Thanks again for coming. All right. So we'd like to take just a few minutes and talk about this X39 patch. And I'm going to just read to you from a a short little bit about it. It is a patented wearable light technology. Light is cutting edge, the light frequencies. The patch itself is made from organic nanocrystals, which is just a combination of amino acids, water, stabilized oxygen, and salts. And it forms a crystal lattice structure. Now, when you place the X39 in your body, the patch reflects the body's own light back into our tissues. So our body has, we feel the heat coming out of us. That heat is light, which is called infrared, low infrared light. So when that light hits the patch, it bounces back to our tissues. And there's a fancy word for it, but we don't have to go fancy. But basically it activates, the patch activates, the light activates your master cells to repair and rejuvenate, just like when you were younger. 
and the very important non-transdermal, meaning non-invasive. There's nothing in the patch that's going in your body. There's no drug, there's no herb, there's no vitamin. It's the light wave and the light wave goes back in, hits the, it goes up out of the body, hits the patch, goes back in and starts the repair and regeneration of our master cells. No, they no say, adverse. pardon? Where we really don't know of any adverse effects that produces because it's not putting anything back into the body that's extraneous. It's different. Right putting you back into your own body. That's what it is. The body's doing the healing. Exactly right. And why this is so important is because as we age, these younger uh, master cells, they slow down. By the age of 30, the ability to repair and regenerate is 50%. By the time we hit 65, we've lost almost all of the ability to regenerate. Like you'll see if you get them, Somebody you know in 65 or older, they bang their arm and that bluish reddish mark stays there for a long, long time. So the, the change needs the body cells get repaired. Sometimes we don't see the effects right away, but there is research out there that shows um, double blind studies which shows that it's not even psychosomatic that these things are helping there is a patent on it and yeah they say mo some people ex experience results within one or seven days most people experience results in 30 days but know that from the studies Within 24 hours, the X39 patch starts restoring 4,000 genes to a younger, healthier state. And we just wear the patch for 12 hours and then take it off at night and go to sleep and let the body repair itself. It increases strength. The research shows it supports hair quality, as Angie talked about, rapid wound healing, mental clarity, uh, improving sleep, vitality, as Angie was talking about, energy. It reduces pain and inflammation, skin and wrinkles. It helps athletes. We just had a number of gold Olympians, people winning the gold medal in this Summer Olympics, and you could see they're wearing their energy patches, Angie. <laughs> and it also restores the muscle and the skeletal conditions. So that is... Just some of the science. I don't see anybody ask questions in the chat room. Uh, Angie, do you have any questions or any other comments? Then I'll go to Dr. Pat. I'm just looking forward to my next shipment. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> well, thank you, Angie, for being a guest with us today and sharing your story to everybody. Dr. Pat, as always, thank you for the science, the bridge to Ayurveda, and your stories, <laughs> <laughs> and your friendship. And for everybody watching, thank you for watching. We will have on our page how to contact us if you'd like to know more or sign up with us. We'll be back next Wednesday. Thank you all for coming. Happy health, joy, and have a wonderful week, life, until we see you again. Thank you so 